What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical average American here today to react and learn about Americans trying to answer questions about Norway. So we're gonna watch a video where someone goes around to different Americans and asks them questions about Norway and Norwegian culture. Very simple questions. Very, very basic questions. And I am very, very worried. <laughs> I, am, I am really worried because Americans really do not know much about, well, anywhere outside of America, and certainly that includes Norway. Your average American really does not know much of anything about Norway. I remember, I, I didn't even know where Norway was on a map, like as an adult, you know? So I can kind of relate to this a little. Now I know a lot more things. So I'm, I'm worried that <laughs> maybe some of the Americans are gonna surprise us, but uh, this should be entertaining to see Americans answer questions about Norway. So let's take a look. Uh, actually, I actually don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so what do you think of when I say Norway? I don't know. Uh, actually, I actually don't know. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> this is like the easiest question possible. You can't come up with one single thing that you can think of about Norway? What do you think of Norway? I don't know. What? Nothing? Nothing? This is, this is not a good start for the Americans. Not good. <laughs> oh no. I think of like, like a little like Dutch town. A little Dutch town? Like in like the Netherlands or like Germany? like a Dutch town. What the? Uh, I mean, I think I understand what she's talking about. Like, Americans definitely view Norway as like a small country and very naturey and rural. So she's thinking like, okay, there's a lot of small towns and nature. Like, I, I think that's what she means by a small Dutch town. And uh, I mean, She's kind of got something going there. There's there's a lot of small little like fishing towns and small small communities in Norway. So she's kind of correct. I don't know if I'm trying to defend my fellow Americans here, but it, it's not the worst answer. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think it's Swedish. Norway. What? I think it's Swedish. No. No! Oh man, she just got disowned. She is no longer welcome in Norway. I, <laughs> I mean, I think I get it. Like she's, she knows that Sweden is near Norway, but that's not, that's not good to say Norway is Sweden. They have like some similarities in like vaguely, you know, in the same region, but they're completely different cultures in completely different countries, so. <laughs> Why would you say it's like, it? I think it's Sweden? Not even, I think it's like Sweden. I think it's Sweden. How is Norway Sweden? Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is, <laughs> this is already not going well. Norway? Another uh, okay. Norway is Denmark. Denmark? Why? Why are all the Americans <laughs> calling Norway other countries? Why can't Norway just be Norway? What is going on? Norway is Sweden. Norway is Denmark. Like, I'm actually surprised that the Nor that the Americans even know, like, all the Scandinavian countries. Like, they're they're kind of in the right like ballpark, sort sorta. Beautiful blonde people. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, that's a little generic. That's a little stereotypical, but okay. Beautiful blonde people. That's the first thing that's even like close to something Norwegian. Okay. Norway. 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 
it's in, all right, it's it's in Europe, that's good. Tram rides, they call it the trick. It's like 20 bucks to get in the town, isn't that crazy? Wait, how did he know that? Wait, <laughs> wait, how did he, they found like the one American that actually knows something about Norway? He knows, like the train is called the trick. I just learned about that. How did he know that? And he knows how much money it costs? How did they find this guy? Okay, all right. There's one American here that seems to know something about Norway. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised. Is he? Okay, do you know where Norway is? Oh boy, Americans are not good at geography. Americans, like, don't know where most countries are, especially in Europe. So, I don't see this going well. Please. Not really. Uh, it's in Europe, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Some of them are, like, correct. Like, it's in Europe, right? And then, like, other Americans are like, no, no, that's not right. Like, just the confidence. <laughs> just the conf confidence Americans have to be like, no, no, that's not right. Even when they're correct. Uh, On the left side of Sweden. Oh gosh, I. Okay. That. You know, I'm pleasantly surprised by some of these Americans. Some Americans know a little bit. Left side of Sweden. All right, pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I didn't know that for the longest time. I can't even talk. No idea. <laughs> oh gosh, I have no idea. Yeah, that is what I would actually expect most Americans to say, that they have no idea. And that's that's pretty sad, huh? I, like, that. that's actually pretty sad. Okay. It's in, uh... I think it's in Eastern Europe, isn't it, or what? Ah... Um... No, no, I mean, it's in, it's Europe, like Northern Europe. I wouldn't call that Eastern Europe. Uh, <laughs> it's fun, it's funny because some of the Americans are like almost in the right vicinity, kinda. Like, I'm, I'm actually surprised that they're even getting this close, to be perfectly honest. Well, it's in the northern part of Europe. It's in the northern part of Europe. Yes, nice, all right, cool. It's, um... I have no idea. <laughs> I love the honesty, though. You gotta appreciate the honesty. Only in the United States are, are Americans gonna be like, where is this country that is really, really important and, and uh, substantial to the world? No idea. No idea. Like, uh, funny enough, that's what I'm expecting. Uh... <laughs> what language do they speak? in Norway. Wow. So I'm guessing none of these Americans know that most Norwegians know English, which is incredible. Um, do Americans know what language Norwegians speak? The language of Norwegian? Probably not. I think this is really, really going to confuse them. <laughs> I t Norwegian is not really a language Americans are are taught at all on any level. Sometimes Americans are taught French or German or Japanese or or something like that, but but never Norwegian. So this is not gonna be good. Take a wild guess to say German. German? Oh no. They're oh they're actually guessing languages from other countries? German is in Germany. Oh, oh, this is bad. French? <laughs> now, they're not saying that some Norwegians can speak French. They're saying French is the language of all of Norway. That is how far off they are. Oh, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. I knew, I, I was afraid of this. <laughs> well, I think they speak Spanish now. Spanish? <laughs> German, French, and Spanish. <laughs> uh, Norwegian. Yes. Right? Or English, I don't know. Yes, yes, yes. He doesn't even... He's the he's the least confident guy here, and he's correct. Someone has to tell him he's correct. 
He's saving our reputation. He actually knows Nor Norwegian as a language. I don't know. Yes. No, that's a good question. Swedish. No, no, it's not Swedish. No, not Swedish. Why? A lot of Americans are getting Norway and Sweden mixed up, too, which I didn't expect. A uh, Norwegian? I don't know. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, they actually do know. <laughs> they, they don't even know that they know. Some of them are just guessing Norwegian, like just purely a guess. They don't actually know. But that's actually correct. All right, what is the capital of Norway? Oh man, I, I think I knew the capital of Norway, like even as a teenager, like I knew of Oslo. It's, it's a famous city. So some of the Americans might, might know the capital of Norway. I hope so. Um. Oh man. Oh, Can you know where it is? I don't even know. Can you give me a letter? Oh, okay. I was afraid. All right. I was afraid of this. Oslo. No. Oslo. All right. This guy knows. This guy knows some stuff. All right. No. No. Not from Asia. Not too much about you. Oh, my. none of them know. I thought some of them would get this one. One person got Oslo. Maybe this guy knows Oslo. Who knows? <laughs> Oh, this is so American. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. But also a little depressing. Like, this is, uh, this is actually pretty representative of, like, typical Americans, I think, and their knowledge on Norway. But not just Norway. Like, Americans don't know much about all cultures all over the world. So it's not just Norway, but this is funny <laughs> to watch. Where's Norway? No, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Oh, uh, this must make Amer oh man, this must make Americans look so bad, cause Norwegians know a lot about America and can speak great English, but Americans don't know about Norway. It's so rude. Oh, uh, why don't they teach us more in school, man? All right, uh, what are the colors of the Norwegian flag? Oh, I will be shocked, shocked if any of the Americans here. No, the Norwegian flag. Because they don't even know where Norway is. <laughs> there maybe? I think there's like red, um, yellow? Ye oh, yellow. Yellow? Maybe they're thinking of like the Swedish flag or something. I think we know it's yellow. It's not yellow. No, stop. <laughs> stop saying that. No. No. <laughs> Let's go with uh, white, red, blue. Wow, okay. How did... <laughs> Man, maybe he was just guessing the colors of the American flag? And he randomly got the Norwegian flag? Yeah, it's like navy blue or something like that. But yeah, yeah okay. Not red, white, blue. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I think of like the really cool flag that they have. I bought a beanie and had a cross. It was like... <laughs> and they got the same colors as the U.S., which is kind of cool. Yeah, I actually never really thought of it like that. Norway does have the same colors as the American flag. Our flags just are, the designs are so different. I don't even think of them as, as looking alike in any way, actually. Uh, what do you know about Norway? <laughs> oh, this ought, to, this ought to be good. They don't, I... I don't know if they know anything about Norway. Maybe they know like a, a random fact or something about Norway. <laughs> Can you give me a category? Polar bears. Polar, <laughs> Polar bears. Okay. All right. We'll take it. Polar bears. There <laughs> can you say something in Norwegian? I, I can. Oh. Tell me. Hi, 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 hi. Uh... I'm assuming that didn't, did that mean something? Was that Norwegian? Hi, 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 hi. Hi, hi. She's happy. She's laughing. She's, laughing. Laughing. She's a happy person though. She laughs. Is that why? Norway? Yeah, but Norway is part of Scandinavia. Is it? Yes. I mean, it's What? I thought this guy kind of knew some stuff. He seemed to know like some stuff about Norway and he doesn't know if it's part of Scandinavia or... Huh. Just even when you think some, um, some of the Americans know some stuff, 
They they really don't actually. Is this a new development? This has happened for a while. People know about this. It sounds like a place that makes shoes. Yeg Elska Noria. Oh, uh, did he say something? Did that mean anything? <laughs> I don't trust him. I don't trust that that meant anything. I don't know. There are more Norwegian descendants living in the United States than there are Norwegian people in Norway. You know, I, I learned about this a while ago. Uh, this is kind of a fun fact. Like, apparently there's a huge Norwegian population in the United States, or at least descendants of Norway, which is awesome. That's something that really never gets talked about much in the United States. And I think that's great. Uh, the name Norway is thought to meant, thought to mean path to the north. Oh, cool. Cool. Oh, like Norway. North way. Like path to the north. I can see that. Okay. Uh, in size, Norway is comparable to Montana. It is the sixth largest country in Europe. Oh, I didn't know Norway was actually one of the bigger countries in Europe. All the maps and stuff show everything at different scales and sizes, so it's hard to tell. But yeah, it honestly remind I need to be reminded how gigantic the United States is. Like, a country in Europe is oftentimes the size of one of our states. And I never even really thought of it like that. What else do we have here? Every single day of the year, 30 million meals with Norwegian seafood are enjoyed worldwide, exported to 150 different countries. Yeah! Especially like, uh, Norwegian salmon. Like, a lot of the Norwegian fish and stuff is, like, very, very, uh, renowned and popular worldwide, right? That's awesome. Uh, these are fun. What is this? Like, fun facts? Okay. I, I, I'm okay with this. <laughs> National Geographic ranks the fjords of Norway as the world's top-rated destination. The top-rated destination. You know, that doesn't surprise me at all. I have seen some YouTube videos about the different parts of Norway, the fjords and the mountains and the hikes, and Norway is the most beautiful place on Earth. There's nothing like it. I, I have seen things that have just blown me away. I, have n I never knew existed. So I am not surprised that National Geographic ranks Norway and the fjords as, like, best place to visit in the world. That makes a ton of sense. Now, 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 now you guys got me thinking about more, 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 more. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> nice. All right, there you have it. Uh, Americans uh, trying and failing to answer questions about Norway, you know. I, uh, I thought they were going to honestly do, well, they did pretty bad, huh? But there were some of them who either accidentally or got some questions correct uh, by luck, or maybe they knew. But uh, there were a couple right answers in there, but man, this just kind of shows how little Americans know about Norway and other countries outside of the United States. And yeah, it's kind of sad to me because it would really benefit the United States and the population of the United States to, to become more worldly to like look at how other places do things, especially Norway, which is doing so many things like very, very well, like a lot of the social programs and healthcare and education and just living happy lives is something Americans could learn from. But as you can see from this video, as funny as it was, it's also kind of sad that Americans don't have the exposure to the rest of the world. Even though, you know, we have the internet and stuff, like, oh, it just takes looking for it and learning. So that's what I enjoy doing. So I really enjoyed learning about this, even if it was a little embarrassing. This was by Gift Trap TV, and I liked it. I liked it quite a bit. Um, I want to look at some of the comments on this, because it might be kind of funny to see people 
re uh, what they said about the Americans answering these questions so poorly. Why do Scandinavians in eighth grade need to learn the name and placement of every U.S. state <laughs> when Americans don't even know what continent we're on? Oh my god! Uh, do uh, do Norwegians have to learn all fifty of the United States? Uh, we when we were growing up, we had to learn like some like you know Europe and Asia and parts of the world, but. Uh, just for like one test ever when you're very young, so none of it sticks. But uh, we, <laughs> having to learn the all the states of the United States does sound horrible. Uh, and yeah, most Americans don't even know where Norway is, so it's very unbalanced. As a Norwegian, I find it fascinating that so few people know about us. We live here, so we feel like everybody should know about us. Yeah, it, it's not even just, like, targeted at Norway. It's like, it's just that Americans don't know much about the world. But that includes Norway, for sure. Uh, anything else? Hmm. Um, I actually feel bad for knowing so much about America. <laughs> yeah, it makes me feel bad because Norwegians know a lot of stuff about America and American culture, but Americans don't return the favor we don't learn about it so uh i don't know i guess i'm trying to make up for that i guess you know in a way um what else do we have here i'm american i was face palming watching this yeah americans tend to be insulated yeah since it's only canada canada and mexico to our north and south that's right and americans uh don't really travel much outside of america americans tend to Amer America is so gigantic and so big, we tend to travel to different states in the United States. There's lots of places to go. And uh, we don't tend to get our passport and explore the world much. That's a little uncommon. So that makes us even less aware and less connected to other cultures. So I, I enjoy learning about Norway and uh, I don't know. I am a little embarrassed for the Americans here today. But hopefully I can, I've made up for it by learning about Norway myself. So there's that. Anyway, I enjoyed this. It was funny and uh, kind of what I expected. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then... Thanks for watching, and see you next time.